Hi, Mark Warnke with Top End Adventures. Um, you know, I've been calling bulls a long time, killed 28 now with my bow, and that's cows and spikes and raghorns and a few big bulls. I'm really good at killing bulls, so I kind of wanted to quickly go through my calling strategy and how I do it. I wrote a recent article and wanted to give you guys kind of some visuals so you'd know what that looked like as well. So, um, we'll kind of go through the different things. Uh, cow call is a foundational thing for me. I like to always start from the most subtle and get the most aggressive. So the most subtle cow call is always a read. I like to start out with a bit quiet. When I call it, I close my lips together so that that's kind of what mutes it. When I open my lips or kind of go out the side, um, then you'll see. So this is my quiet calling. And then when I open up, that sort of thing. Open reads are super effective. You need to use them. That little whine at the end is what gets them to kind of create activity. Instead, now you go from a cow that's just kind of making noise to a cow that's saying, hey, come on over. Uh, there's the whole Esther's call theories and all that stuff. And I think they hold true. And I think getting super whiny is there. This littler guy, this Carlton call, one of my go-tos, but it's super loud, so I'll usually go to it second. Um, I like to, again, be subtle. And by the way, this is a really good system. I got tired of losing these open reeds, having them in my pocket, losing them. These you can get from fly fishing shops. I just put it on the back side of that. Then it's retractable, and there's no way I can lose it because it always just goes back into position. So uh, this is my more subtle one, also a Carlton call, um, and it's a little quieter. So I'll do kind of series like that. I'll do single ones. If I'm gonna get super aggressive with this one, it sounds like this. And yeah, I'll get all whiny and do all that stuff. And yeah, they respond to it well. Uh, when you go to this one, it's so loud. I never work a bull in close with this. It's hard to get it quiet enough, but it's really loud so you can, I can actually locate call with this one and get bulls to respond to me at distance, which I'll often do. So you get the idea. Now if we move on to bugles, I really only have three that I do. I do cow call for them, my bugle as well though. Just gives me another variant. I am not a big grunty, try to sound like a bull, call bull, a bugler. I always try to sound like an immature bull that's piping off. I can still vocalize in the same way. I can do those grunty calls. I've just never found that they've done a ton because I always want to sound a little smaller than the guy I'm calling to so it gives him confidence to come in. So I'll do all my, my just my location call with no emotion. something like that. Then I will do my chuckle, which again, just gives me another variation. And then I go into my challenge bugle, only when it's appropriate. When I get super aggressive and I, I want that bull to come in ready to fight, um, then I'll roll the challenge bugle out at him. So it's just lots of emotion, really loud, you know, just beow. So those are really my variations. And when I use silent setups, I'm going through a series of slowly escalating from my quiet cow calls to my aggressive cow calls. Then I roll in the bugle and I do that. When I'm working bulls that are actively calling back to me, I use a similar system that other people do, kind of mimicking him, seeing what he really likes, what creates activity in him, turning that up, doing more of that. My rule is subtle to aggressive, wherever he, he starts engaging, then I stop there. And my sequence though always goes subtle to aggressive from the just basically cow call to throwing everything in the kitchen sink in him, at him, and then I'll reposition. And then uh, if uh, a bull, my other rule of thumb is if a bull is doing what I'm asking him to do, he's coming, then I shut up. 
I don't I don't keep going all nuts or whatever I make him re-engage me I try to call bulls as quietly as I can because I'm hunting the same drainages the same five or six drainages most of the season the more calling I do the more education I do the least I can get away with is always better as the season progresses and they get more call shy and etc cetera, etc cetera. so there's always a reason to use as little little bit as calling as you can um, so I hope that helps that's helps that's kind of my system mark warnke top end adventures